Welcome back, Tony is here. Today I'm flying from Niagara Falls to Cleveland, Ohio. I'm flying a Beechcraft 350i King Air. I'll set a flight level of 3,000 feet once in the cabin. And let's get started. Alright, so setting that flight level now, there's 3,000. Warning us about the parking brake. That's fine. Oh, warning. Okay. And let's get started. I find it much easier to use the rotating stick for the rudder when going down the runway than the actual run, uh, rudder pedals. Although I did just fix mine, so I should give those a try maybe next time. Uh, they were having some electrical connection problems. Alright, let's go ahead and take off. Alright, that feels so good so far. Landing gear up. I'm going to turn Niagara Tower KH4 tree and tree continue for bring the flaps departure. up. Pull back on the stick at the same time. Alright, so we are turning in the direction of Cleveland. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and engage autopilot and the yaw damper, of course. There we go. Alright, so the plane has taken over. I just need to keep it air on airspeed and make sure that we're headed in the right direction. like a semi-beautiful day here in the Niagara Falls area. Go ahead and look around a little bit. Still having some issues with frame rate after turning on photogrammetry data. Things look much more beautiful. But I do notice a lot more lag and tear. Um, at some point I should upgrade to a 30 series RTX card. I've got the 2080 Ti, so it's doing a good enough job at 4K, but I wouldn't mind getting another boost in performance. Alright, so I'm going to pull back on the throttle. We're um, about at our target altitude, so I've been at about 45%, something like that. Look around a little bit more.
I've been cooped up for a while. It's really nice seeing all the great outdoors. I don't think I've ever really been in this area. I think the majority of our flight's actually going to be over water, so that should be nice. Let's go back inside for a minute. I'll set my bird's eye view. There we go. I like that view. One two five decimal two for KH four tree tree. I have to remember how to negotiate between the Xbox controller and the keyboard, and then be super careful not to touch anything but the right joystick, because it's also your flight controller unless you're using the drone. That's an interesting view. Increasingly, I feel like it would be fun to actually learn how to fly a real plane. That feeling of freedom of being up in the air, floating along. You get a sense for it in the game, but I think flying for real would give you a much different experience. I watched a video though where a pilot made one little tiny easy to make mistake and all hell broke loose and he ended up being okay but there was a frightening moment when uh, ATC asked him how many souls were on board and how much fuel and a bunch of stuff uh, related to its search and rescue and so that was really scary. Anyway, he managed to salvage it. I'll post a link in the description. Um, the mistake was not turning on the pitot tube heat, and so he lost airspeed. And then as soon as he lost airspeed, he started getting stall warnings. And it looked really bad, but uh, once he figured that out and turned the heat on, then everything was fine but it makes me realize that it would be so easy to to forget one simple, simple little thing and then panic and um, you know what he should have done is maybe gone back through his checklist and he had already kind of acknowledged an earlier mistake where the weather had turned and he should have turned around and I think it maybe zapped his confidence, I don't know Anyway, I, I had to pause the video halfway through because it was really scary to watch. Uh, and it just made me realize that you have to take piloting really seriously if you're going to do it. And I don't know if I trust myself enough. Alright, we've been looking at this view for a long time. Let's go back outside. Oh, that's very beautiful. Step back from that a little bit. Wow. That's just breathtaking. Let's see if I can get the drone looking in the same direction. Uh, let's see, I can't zoom out with the drone, but I can back up. So let's see if we can get that same look. Up. I was trying to get the sun. Oh, there we go. Okay. Yeah, I guess I might. I need a wide-angle lens to to do what I'm trying to do. Um, I don't think I can set the focal length. Probably do want to up the speed though.
Kind of fun playing with all the views. Maybe I can create a new image for my YouTube page. Has to be sort of, uh, I don't know, centered and up. Can't really see Conius very well though. Oh well, anyway, go back inside. Okay, well there's that external view again. That's really, pr really pretty. I'm going to want to come back to that. Okay, I'm going to reset the view here. Okay, instrumentation all looks good. I'm going to hit the barometer yeah, slightly off. I probably announced it and I wasn't paying attention. Not much to see. So I guess not a lot different than flying in the clouds, except we can see the horizon line. Kind of admiring the bloom on the sun reflections on the chrome window rings. Uh, looks kind of amazing for some reason. My graphic settings reverted to all super low again after an update, but I'm used to checking that now before I go in. Check the pedals, check the graphic settings. Uh, it kind of sucks to record a nice video and then realize that it was on super low the whole time. Um, things just looked awful, but I couldn't do much about it at the time. Okay, I'm going to reset this view and go back outside again. See if I can uh, dial in the view I want on this.
definitely interested in exploring this little land area here with the drone, so let me switch to it. Reset the view. Alright, and then I need some speed. And we'll let the plane go. Get the mouse cursor out of the way. Alright. Not sure exactly what this area is. I think I see some trees. One two five decimal two for generic nine or three eight. And this looks really pretty. Looks like it'd be fun to be here. Noticing some tiling in the uh, water waves. Uh, I could probably do something about that in my graphic settings. If you look at the reflections, you can see some tiling. Okay, anyway. Oh, a little hut. That's cute. Is that a yurt? It's probably a tank. And that's probably a pump house. Contact Toronto Center on one three five decimal tree. And it looks like the AI made it into a house one three five decimal tree subscribing to the dish network. That's funny. Toronto Center, KH four three 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 thousand feet. Guess I should go back and check on the plane. Alright. That's fine. Alright, so let's explore this little area a little bit more. Now they're seeing some Cleveland different KH4 tree tree ATC voices and some very realistic tree sounding VHS VHF interference. They've probably made some uh, recent improvements on that. But it's starting to sound very realistic. Um, for a while the voices seemed a little too limited, like it was the same three or four people all the time. All right, well, this is uh, interesting. I don't know what anybody does with this area. Maybe it goes to the beach, or maybe it's off limits, except for that hut out there. It's kind of a nice view. Alright, well anyway, let's uh, go back to the plane. Go to the bird's eye view. Of course, there's not really nothing to see, uh, just the water. I think that's where we just were off here in the distance. Let's see, maybe I can try to use the mouse to gently move the orientation of the camera. Yeah, I guess that's that area. Uh, close up on the pilots is always an interesting view. Still don't know why the livery is backwards on one side. They've got some dampening now on that view change. Um, it's probably
probably better make me a little bit seasick though. I'm kind of liking the reflections on the plane body. It's very real. And I guess it's the, the bloom I turned on is doing that. And I just realized I didn't run my overclocking on the GPU, so this is just native, probably 90% 90 of its normal performance. Still doing a decent job, I think. Wide-angle views are kind of interesting. Although the, the camera does seem to have some physics now, so you can see it's, it's tilting when I turn it, and then it corrects. It should be a massless, you know, singularity. That's okay. I think they use the mass normally to stabilize the view against the plane moving. So, it's a good thing. Looks like uh, ray trace reflections going on there. It's nice. That's the problem when there's um, nothing to look at below the plane. All you can really look at is the plane. There's just nothing else around forever. Cloud formations are kind of interesting. It looks like it might be raining off in the distance. Maybe this kind of vertical column. Back to the bird's nest view. Just nothing to see, like I said. Even the instruments are not that interesting to look at.
just not much to see. I see a little bit of land over here on the left side, it looks like. I'm gonna go explore that with the drone. Okay, so we're gonna need no plane and full speed. Okay, so let's see what we have over here. I think this is kind of on the south side of the water body. Loving all the rich cloud formations off in the background. Realize it's all simulated, but it looks very realistic for a mixed weather kind of day. Okay, so I'm starting to see some trees here. Maybe houses, mansions, uh, dirt roads. Cars will just turn around and instantly go the other direction. And then maybe a school or a manufacturing plant or something here. I don't see a field, so it's not a school. I wonder what that is, though. That's interesting. Maybe it had been a big pile of salt or something, paint. This car is going to drive through it. Those look like cars parked. So that's the photogrammetry resolution, I guess. Satellite resolution. And then it's a big, big old green highway. Just saw a truck magically appear out of nothing and then magically turn around and go backwards. There it goes. I'm probably going to flip back and forth. Let's go check on the plane. Airspeed, elevation, distance from the airport, heading, everything. Looks good. Wait for all the textures to reload. landing must be a little airport. And I guess this must be a little lake or something here. Don't see any water waves on it. Yeah, so it's not being treated as live water. Interesting. Hey, it looks like we're passing a cloud here. I don't know why that was interesting. I just hadn't seen that before like that. Oh, and then that uh, dark cloud there looks kind of ominous. Yeah, the clouds are kind of interesting.
All right. Well, anyway, um, where was I? Victor's landing is a piece of dirt. That's fine. It looks like you can land something there, so it's not lying. And what do we have here? Truck's driving on the incorrect side of the street. Huh, the street texture keeps changing as I move around. That's weird. It's kind of fun looking for glitches and weaknesses in the AI. Overall, you have to say it does a super excellent job, so maybe it feels a little bit unfair, but the same time I'm sure they would prefer to fix those things themselves so why not point them out that must be a little bridge or water kind of thing I don't know looks like the truck didn't experience a dip all right well is there anything else interesting to look at here Okay, now we're up into the clouds. Okay, that is a very trippy looking view. <laughs> wow. Uh, like we're hanging upside down from the clouds or something. Interesting. All right, let's go back to the plane. Looking kind of icky from here. I'm going to go back inside. At least there's something to see now. That must be an airport there. Yep. Some little piece of land over there or something. I'm not sure what that is. Go enjoy the outside view for a bit. Is that a lighthouse? Let's see if I can zoom in on this. Oh. No, I think it's a geographic data spike. So, not real, but funny. Boy, it really kind of turned crappy all of a sudden weather-wise. a real difference here. Kind of funny seeing the dark clouds occlude the blue sky a little bit at a time. I don't know if normally I would actually be able to fly over an airport like that. I would probably have to go around it or something.
going to begin pulling back on the throttle and slowing down as we near our landing opportunity. Pull it back to about 15-20% somewhere in there. See where that leaves us. I watched a video on power descent and how to drop your speed properly. And the biggest takeaway from that was nice, smooth, even angles. And so that's something I'll have to work on, but you can keep moving at one speed and then begin descending, keep the same speed, and make it all nice and smooth for your passengers so they have a nice flight. And you slow down the way you need to at the same time. I'm really just trying to learn the basics of controlling the airplane. But I do eventually want to get to the point where I could have a perfect takeoff and landing flight from a pilot's, from a pilot's point of view. Okay, I'm going to pull back some more on the throttle. Down to about 10%, I guess. What I'd like to do is get slow enough to put the flaps down. I don't know if we're going to slow down fast enough. I think I'll drop throttle just a tad more. Uh, we have enough momentum to not stall, so we're good. just want to get that airspeed down. Really a beautiful view. It's been nice to see sometime during nice weather. Well, we are continuing to drop in speed, so that looks good. I don't actually know at what speed it's safe to put the landing gear down. I just assume it's similar to flaps, but that's something I should look up. Okay, a little bit more down on the throttle if I can. Okay. Okay, so at this point I'm going to disengage autopilot. Cleveland approach KH433. Request clearance to transition Bravo airspace. And nose down a little bit so we can actually see the airport. And I'm gonna put my landing gear down. That'll help us drop some airspeed. <laughs> I 
Okay, I'm going to drop some more throttle. I really want to get down to a slower speed. Get those flaps down. Tower KH four tree tree is one one miles northeast with Charlie to land. KH four tree tree Cleveland Tower. Make straight in runway two four left. Altimeter two nine er decimal eight seven wind tree zero nine er at seven. Okay, flaps down part way. KH four tree tree clear to land runway two four left. Push hard on the stick. That will get us slowing down. Clear to land runway two four left KH four tree tree. Also, I can nose up a bit, head up towards the entrance of the pattern. I'm going to go ahead and throttle up because we're going to need that as I put the flaps down all the way. Alright, looks like our speed is good. Something looks different about the landing pattern brackets. Maybe they styled them a little differently. They look a little bit softer or something. Softer and maybe denser. I don't usually get a perfect straight in entry like this. That's nice. Alright, and I'm going to kind of favor the right side, try to visually center the runway. I think it'll blink as soon as I enter past the runway marker, pattern entry marker. There it goes. Okay, yeah, do you need to slow down? Wind feels calm. I think we're going to be okay that way. Do a little barometer adjustment. I'm going to drop throttle some more. Try to keep the speed from going up. I actually need it to go down. So let's drop it to about 10% or something. Still need to head a little bit over towards the right. And drop throttle just a little bit more, trying to get that speed down towards towards 90. This airport I've actually been to once before. Flew out there on business, not obviously as a pilot. Okay, trying to get myself visually centered on the runway. So all the uh, zigzagging. I have both hands on the stick. I find that to be very helpful at this point. The game's lagging a little bit, but that's okay. We'll be all right. Dropping a little bit too fast. I'm nosing up. That's going to drop speed. Might be okay. It's a balance that you have to achieve. And I just dropped my throttle all the way. Let's see. Let's get, bring it up a little bit. Just trying to make sure I still have authority over the plane. Okay, it feels like everything's okay. I feel like I might wheels down a little early, but it should be alright, I think. 
Okay, let's try to hover and hover. Alright, brakes. Nose down, brakes. Foot brakes. So let's see if we can turn here. Come to a stop, put on the parking brake. And let's contact ground. Uh, there we go. Cleveland ground KH four three three taxi to parking. KH four three three taxi to general aviation parking using taxiway Charlie Echo. Taxiing to general aviation parking using taxiway Charlie Echo KH four three three. All right, here we go. So I had to fix my rudder pedals. It's a Thrustmaster T rudder. Uh, uses a crappy telephone connector and analog connections to the pedals, and I was having to clean them, uh, clean and blow them with air every time to get them to work properly. And I finally said, "Screw it!" Pulled it apart and soldered the wires directly, and they're working great now. I don't know why. I, I was really surprised how cheaply made that was the fact that it with these analog connections going through a noisy, you know, um, I guess low impedance normally um, telephone connector, but with, you know, tiny voltage sensing signals, it's not going to blast through a little bit of noise. So anyway, it's working beautifully now, now that they're fully soldered. What they should have done is put the electronics in the pedals and then ran the digital USB cable out, not analog wires via a crappy telephone connector. That just seems ridiculous. Um, but again, they're working fine now that after the fix. Why am I always encountering a truck in the middle of the taxiway? I guess maybe it's supposed to just go around. I don't know if my wings cleared that or not, but hopefully. Um, yeah, the pedals actually feel really good now, so they feel reliable, like like they're connected to the hardware. I mean, connected to the you know, plane's hardware, so um, it feels very natural to use them. I haven't had to really think about what I'm doing here much; just steer. Okay, that's a good enough spot. Parking brake on. Engines off. This is Cleveland for you. Not very interesting to look at, but it's a place. We landed safely. I think the landing was fine. Maybe a little bouncy, but I don't think it was a problem. Um, excellent. Well, I am very happy with this. Let's turn the plane off. That's it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video.